About 17 miles above the confluence of the Ohio and Mississippi rivers, the final phase of the Olmsted Locks and Dam project is underway. To build the dam, the Corps of Engineers is using an innovative method called in the wet. Components of the dam, known as shells, are cast on shore. The fitting together of the precast shells has been likened to building with Legos, only on a much, much grander scale. The loads the Corps is dealing with are huge. The steel reinforced concrete shells weigh from 2,600 to 4,700 tons. North America's largest gantry crane and the world's largest catamaran barge handle the work. Each can lift more than 5,000 tons. Strand jacks atop these structures do the actual lifting and the larger jacks can each hoist about 1,000 tons. A tubular steel lifting frame is attached to the shell. The crane lifts the shell from its construction platform and moves on rails to the cradle at the top of the marine skidway. The crane is supported by 64 steel wheels. Steel rebar is attached to the underside of the shell before it is completely lowered onto the cradle. Released from the crane, the shell and lifting frame move down the marine skidway on the cradle transport system. It uses hydraulic cylinders to propel itself by pushing or pulling against notches cut into the upper flanges of the rails. Top speed, one foot per minute. Maintaining the cradle and shell square to the rails is critical. Sensors monitor its position and a computer can adjust the stroke of the hydraulic transport cylinders. When the cradle is to be lowered into the river, it's locked in position and disconnected from its transport system. The system is moved back up the skid so pendant extensions can be installed. They make sure no hydraulic or electrical components become submerged while the cradle is being prepared for the barge. The journey down the skidway takes about a day. It takes another day for the shell to go out into the river and be positioned under the catamaran barge. The shell and frame are lifted off the submerged cradle. The shell remains partially submerged as it is transported to the point in the river where it will be set down in the dam. Prior to placing the shells in the river, a hydraulic excavator finely grades the river bottom. A sheet pile cutoff wall is constructed upstream and downstream, and the foundation piles are installed. About 3,300 24-inch diameter pipe piles will be driven for the entire dam foundation. From when the catamaran barge is positioned over the foundation, shell set down in the river takes 12 to 14 hours. The set down tolerance goal for positioning the shells is only a little bigger than the size of a quarter coin. The frame used to lift the shell becomes a work platform. Articulated booms pour the concrete down through its hollow legs. About 400 pneumatic tubes monitor the level of the concrete during the filling of the shell underwater. The Tremie concrete placements vary from about 2,000 to 4,500 cubic yards and can take more than two days of around-the-clock operations.